Grace, mercy, and peace may be multiplied unto you. This is Apostle Elliot. I wanted to take a quick moment to give a word of revelation regarding a word that we find in Scripture, and it's cherubim. Uh, the word cherubim. Now, we'll find this word referenced in both the Old and the New Testament, and in that, uh, by the grace of God, both references of the word, both Old and New, uses only one particular word in association with it. Amen. So now, uh, if one was reading the Bible in Genesis chapter three, verse 24, uh, the scripture says, um, and he was placed at the east of the garden of Eden, cherubims and a flaming sword, which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. And so in that we come to understand, uh, that this word cherubim that's used there is from the Hebrew word kerub. And kerub is an angelic being or, or uh, entity, celestial entity that's been placed there. Now, we can also find scriptural reference to this word cherubim in the Old Testament in Exodus chapter 25, verse 18 through 22. Uh, chapter 26, verse 1 and verse 31, and chapter 36, verse 8 and 35, as well as chapter 37, verse 7. Now, in all of those references of the cherubim, we're not talking about uh, the entity of cherubims, but we're talking about uh, a replica of cherubim. Because in those scriptures, we find it associated with the Ark of the Covenant uh, that Moses uh, established with the Levitic order that uh, is where he communed with the Lord God and that the priests kept in the, in the temple or in the tabernacle. Amen. So these are the only other references of cherubim in the Old Testament. Now, New Testament wise, it is called cherubim uh, in the Greek and uh, what we also find is even if you look in, in, a, in a lexicon to uh, the word cherubim in the Greek, it, its origin is out of the Hebrew. So in that, once again, it implies not only angelic beings, but from the Greek dialect within the definition of the word, it means guardians. And it also means the chariots of Yahuwah. All right, which means the vehicle that carries out the Lord God's will. And as we think about that, even when we go back to the Garden of Eden in Genesis 3, 24, when the cherubim was mentioned there east, at the eastward gate, we see that it is carrying out or is the vehicle that is carrying out the will of the Lord God regarding man. Now, uh, in that, as I mentioned that you find the word in the New Testament, the scripture that you can cite regarding the word cherubim in the New Testament is Hebrews chapter nine, verse five. And what the scripture says, and over it, the cherubims of glory shadowing the mercy seat of which we cannot now speak particularly. That's what the scripture says. And it's in, once again, in association with the replica of the cherubim, uh, as it is associated with the Ark of the Covenant. Amen. So, so in that, I hope I've given a, a word of revelation as to what this word cherubim mean, as well as what are the scriptural sites that we can find uh, the word cherubim referenced, both in the Old and New Testament. Amen. And I pray that it gives you a profound word of revelation of understanding as to the identity of cherubim, as well as what the function of the cherubim is, especially from the Greek dialect, in order for you to have a depth of understanding, even to why they are referenced in scripture. Amen. So with that, I pray this is a word of revelation that gets you toward your divine destiny in the Lord God as you continue on your journey through Christ Jesus himself. Amen, amen, and amen.